Hello there and welcome to Walking Talking Gardeners and, uh, and this is a great episode because I'm, uh, I'm going to finally talk about one of my most hated uh, pets on plants and that's the, uh, that's the Fuchsia Gourmite Aculops Fuchsia I think that's how you pronounce it, I'll write it in the little thing below. Yeah, Aculops uh, is a little mite, uh, lives in the, uh, the, the buds and tips of uh, Fuchsia New Growth. So let's have a look at it so you can identify it and then I can tell you what you can do about it. Here you go. Here's a poor, poor uh, example of a uh, of a fuchsia. And uh, let me just see. Let me just try and find a really good bit to show you. Um, I mean, it's fuchsia. Look, it's still there's your flower bud. So it's exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. So this uh, this gourmite, it's absolutely super, super, super tiny. You cannot see it with your eyes. And what it does, it tends to live in these tips, and it causes this gall, this hardening. This it's not really. It's a little bit undifferentiated growth, but it's, it's hard, it's brittle, it breaks, and, and they're in there. Now, it's luckily only affects fuchsias, so, and it's also easily transferred from fuchsia to fuchsia. So if you get it on your, if you touch it, you've probably got it on your hand. Um, but if you go and do more gardening, then uh, it's not going to affect anything else. It is very specific to this plant. Uh, how do you recognise it? Well, it's, this isn't showing fantastic, but, you know... It, undifferentiated hardening growth you get discoloration um, and it's all on the tips and you start to get a wee bit of dye back it's another good bit see look, there's a there's a flower that's trying to trying to produce a flower but again it's it's hardened undifferentiated thick growth not very good right uh, so if you've got it what do you do with it well um, let me show you the answer is you can't do much. Uh, you can't spray for it. You can't control it with biological control. You can, you can, um, uh, you can hold it back. You know, you, you can slow down the, the effects of it. But it's really, really, really hard. And that's using commercial chemicals. So you can't buy anything in the shops if you've got it. All you can really do is uh, is remove these uh, damaged tips and uh, and burn them, destroy them. Um, Chances are, though, it will just slowly come back. One of the one of the best ways uh, to to f for you to get rid of it is extremely cold temperatures. So if you get uh, regular, very cold temperatures below minus six uh, over a period of say four, five, six days over the winter, it's a good chance you're going to knock out a lot of this uh, gallmite, and um, and in the spring you can pretty much have an entire year without it coming back because it, you know they can they can be blown in from the wind you know touch moved around so uh so it's a really nasty little product and some years when they're so bad the plants are really unsellable they have no ornamental value you need to get rid of it um i think it was discovered in um 1971 in brazil uh as well like moved its way in through america and um and i believe it come to this country from infected stock infected stock and that's here pretty much here to stay especially in the uh, south of england where we have such mild winters winters um and that is the problem with futures and they were all susceptible to it um so that's the uh, such a shame but at least uh, if you can recognize it you can even decide where you're going to keep that future plant or burn it or try and control it it's very difficult. What can you do? You grow them or you don't grow them. Anyway, that is fuchsia gourmet. I'm sorry it's not uh, particularly helpful in these, but you know, but knowledge is power, I suppose. Um, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.